Hey traders, John Hal here. Uh, it's all over. Blood bath in the markets today. Just exactly like I thought was going to happen. Exactly what I told the video yesterday called called Black Monday. So, uh, and the mining sector, everything's getting crushed right now. But I may have some little bit of a good news for you. Let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, uh, before we do start, um, I have just put up a replay of a full training that I've did walking you through all the details to how I trade the markets. My system, my scanner, what's the one thing you should be focusing on and so much more in that Call it a masterclass if you want to call it that. Uh, if you go to johnsfreetraining.com, you can get access to the entire free training. I'll walk you through everything of exactly what a good setup looks like, what I look for, um, the scanning process, and so on and so forth. So johnsfreetraining.com, or there should be a link in the description. Now, yesterday, I did a video on the good old stocky market, right? The good old stocky market, or the market, I did a video on the market of stocks. Well, actually, no, that's not right. The market of stocks is all, all, the, all the stocks here. The stock market is obviously what we're looking at right now. Um, or, you know, the, the indices anyway. And I said, here comes Black Monday. And I gave a few targets out yesterday as well too. Um, now, we did get a very hard and fast flush down, exactly like I thought was going to happen. And we can see we're getting a very hard and fast flush down right now on the S&P 500. Actually, we're still open right now, so we're we're still got. It's actually only three twenty there, so we've still got another forty minutes worth of trading to go. But I've finished all my trading for the day, and I don't need to be doing anything. So I'm doing this video for you guys. So yesterday I did that. I did that, and I came out and said, "Get basically." I said in yesterday's video, "Get ready, basically, for capitulation um, to happen." And and I believe we have just seen capitulation um, in this downward leg. Uh, we can also see on the NASDAQ as well too, very big, strong down capitulation. And what actually happened is that the, I was watching the market open and there was actually a big gap. The market actually gapped strongly. You can see, you see here, you see it actually opened there. Um, um, it, it, closed, it closed there, but it opened down through there. And you can see, look what's happening right now on the NASDAQ. It's rallied all the way down. So we had a bit of a capitulation. Now we're rallying all the way back up. So we're getting this very strong rally towards the close there. Uh, and if we have a look at the Dow Jones, same sort of thing as well too. We had a bit of, that was the open there. So that was the close of yesterday. And then this is the open for today. We rallied all the way down, rallied all the way back up. So we're getting a very big, strong sort of capitulation type of move. Now, what I'm seeing through here is that, the reason why I say this good news is that I believe we're going to get a bit of a reversal day tomorrow. Again, that's, just my guess, guys. It's a 50 50. I'm, I'm throwing, I'm, you know, it's like I'm throwing the dart, I'm throwing the dart at the dartboard. Let's just see what it lands on black or white, um, you know, 100 or, or zero. Um, <laughs> right. So that's just, I'm getting this from, I'm just, it's, it's just my opinion. I just believe we're going to see a bit of a reversal day tomorrow. We've had a very strong sell off in the markets. So to get a bit of a, a, a short term bounce, not a, not, a, not a complete rally yet. Um, but I'll get to that in just a minute as well too. So we can see that that's what's happening through there. Dow Jones selling off strongly like I thought. It actually hit my target. The S&P hit my target, which was there. NASDAQ, look at here. NASDAQ came down and hit exactly my target as well too, which was that 13,000 level. This is that support level. Came smack straight on there. Um, and it's interesting traders because uh, we are getting a very, very strong sell off. So I do believe we are going to see um, a nice update tomorrow. I believe we're gonna see a bit of a green day tomorrow um, out of the market. So we'll just see how that all plays out through there. The Russell's well too. The Russell is the Russell is the is is the hardest one out of all of them because you can see, look what happened here. We've been, we, we went sideways, we broke out, we came to the downside. So yeah, not, not, not too quite not too quite sure about the Russell because we have been going sideways for quite some time. So maybe, just maybe, if we are going to get some more downside, maybe we're going to get a bit of a, a rolling over effect, so so to speak, like a rolling over effect, and maybe we get something like that coming. Um, uh, so that's what I'm seeing through there on the indices. I'm going to get to the mining stocks in just a minute, guys. But the last thing I want to share with you on this on this downward leg we're getting through here. Okay, so let me just bring up this old charts through here for a minute. 
what we can see here is uh, I've got the mining stocks down the bottom, silver and gold to the left over here, and then I've got the, the indices to the top, okay? And we're getting this capitulation, this big sell-off in the markets, big sell-off in the markets, big sell-off in the markets. So we're getting that right now. Right now, traders, uh, we are not at the top of the markets. This is just a sell-off in, the, this is, uh, we're not at the top of the overall big bull market, okay? This is not the massive pullback that we're gonna see a, you know, an 80% crash in the markets and it's all over from here, okay? If you go back in history, look back in history through everything, okay? Right now, this is just a strong, healthy, this is a strong, healthy correction to shake the weenie babies out, okay? Um, but I strongly believe we're gonna be seeing a 5,000, maybe even a 6,000 print by the end of this year. Right now, we're getting a very strong sell-off in, in January. But I do believe that this this is not the overall big broad top and we're gonna see a complete sell off and a complete market meltdown right now. If you go back and have a look at the times, okay, uh, firstly, where we are in the market cycle. So many people are just so, so negative um, and the market's only down 10%. So that tells me that we've got, we've got a long way to go there, but also, if you actually look at them, look, look, at, the, look at all the times when, when they start to raise interest rates, people think, oh, they're gonna to start to raise interest rates and that's gonna crash the market. Really, traders, when you hear stuff like that, okay, when you hear say, oh, the tightening's gonna prick the bubble. Oh, they're gonna start to, they're gonna to start to raise interest rates. That's gonna, that's gonna crash the market. Just really ask yourself, okay, is this, what he's saying, is that true? Is that how things work? Is that how actually things work? Because I can go back in time and if you actually know anything about when the when when good old Trumpy was elected, you would know that there was one rate hike in 2016, around about there, and nothing. Right? And then guess what? And then in 2017, they raised it, 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 and they raised it, right? You see this through everything. So during a market, during them starting to raise interest rates, and which they're going to start to do this year, the market is strong and the market is an upward leg. It's not just, the, it's not one interest rate that's going to prick the bubble. Now, here's what I do say, is if you start to see consecutive, if you start to see consecutive rate rises, that's when you know you're roughly around 12 months from some sort of a shaky, shaky period, okay? Um, but now, again, that also depends on how hard they rate. If they go quarter base point, quarter base point, quarter base point, quarter, you know, we're, we're probably 12 months away from, from seeing a pretty big meltdown. But this is not the top guys, okay? Even if they do start to raise interest rates, this, this, um, it's, it's not going to prick the bubble. Now, if they start to come out and they jack it up like the 2%, which they're not going to, but if they did do that, um, yeah, you're gonna start to see a complete meltdown really, really quickly, right? But if they just did a small little bit, small little quarter base point, quarter base point, quarter base point, um, that's that's not gonna crash the market. Yeah, yes, I believe we're gonna. This is this is just a this is just a really healthy correction, guys. So please, 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 traders, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, right now this is an opportunity to not be not be sucked in by the headlines and the fear and the whole bullshit mongering out there because the individual stocks are gonna soon be setting up with some really big, nice reversal patterns to trade with um, that's gonna just it's gonna do you wonders by the end of this year. Again, guys, this is just a 10% correction in a big, massive bull market. This generally happens, this generally happens at least once a year. Once a year, we generally get this sort of correction. Like, it even happened last year. Like people don't, people forget, right? Look at this here. This even happened last year. You know, from the high down through to the low, look what we got. That was a 10% pullback in the markets there. Oh my goodness, the top's in, the top's in, the top. Hang on a minute, no, 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 okay? And then we had another, and then we had another big pullback through here, right? That was another good seven, eight, nine. That was a, a eight, nine percent. But we actually got this last year. We generally get it once a year, traders, okay? We generally get this big, we generally get this 10% correction out of the markets, and then the market continues up, and then guess what? So that was, you can see we had a big move through here. And then we had a then we had a pullback and guess what happened? And then we just continued on our way, okay? So 
Right now, traders, this is not the top in the markets. We're nowhere near that. Um, the tightening will prick the bubble, but generally, if they just do the quarter base point, we're, we're, we're a long way away from that. Um, I'm not telling you to just go straight out and buy the markets. No, uh, there's going to be opportunities, really good, powerful quality setups. If we just do our analysis, right? We do our homework on there. And if you know what to look for, right? If you know what to look for in a good quality setup, guys, fortunes will be made this year, okay? If you don't know what to look for, then go over to my training, John's, J-O-H-N-S, johnsfreetraining.com, johnsfreetraining.com, and you'll be able to get access to my training where I share with you exactly what I look for in a powerful setup. So you can get ready for explosive moves to come through the rest of this year and not be sucked in by the fear. Don't be sucked in by the fear of what's happening right now, okay? Yes, we're gonna get a bit, a lot more volatility, you know, um, throughout the throughout a lot more volatility and and we're going to see more down days and up days and all that sort of stuff for you know and that's what's happening right now and we're going to shake and bake right now but traders you watch come to the second and third second third and even the fourth quarter this year uh i don't know about about, about the fourth quarter uh, but especially the second and third quarter guys you watch this thing's probably going to start to race right back up again it's going to start to go absolutely just nuts um so again, I don't know how long this thing has got, uh, how, how long this thing has got to go. But if we have a look at the capitulation, this is actually now corrected now 11%. Again, guys, that's actually just only a few percent more back than where? Back than here. And then we continue up, right? So I wouldn't be too worried about this traders um, uh, right now. Once again, in rate hike situations, we, we, we're a long way, way, way from the top. Okay, from, from that big massive top. Now, because traders, this entire move up, we've had so much negativity and and and, and people, oh the, oh, the bubble's gonna pop, the bubble, you know, people are so negative, right? That's what you don't see at tops, okay? So you're gonna get these bumblebees out there in the marketplace, do these headlines and stuff like that. But please don't be sucked in by the headlines and the news and all that sort of stuff, traders, because they, they, they're gonna lead you down the wrong path, okay? They're gonna lead you down the wrong path and I'm telling you right now, we're only in the middle of the cycle. We're in the middle of the cycle. We're just getting a big, scary, healthy correction. And then guess what? I surely see, just like we got back here in 2019. See this here? Look at this back here in 2019. Look at this here. Oh, they're freaking out. They're freaking out. They're freaking out. And then wham, look what happened there. All right? Oh, they're freaking out. They're freaking out. And then wham, look what happened there. Oh, they're freaking out. They're freaking out. And then wham, look what happened there. Okay, so they're freaking out, they're freaking out, they're freaking out. Now remember guys, this this up here, this up here is when the interest rates were very, uh, uh, two, two and a half, I think they were, two, 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 two and a half. Um, so that's what that's what's happening through there. So um, I do see a lot more upside. So don't don't listen to the bumblebees at the tops in, the market's gonna crash 50% and, oh, but Goldman Sachs said so. Who gives a shit about what they say, right? Seriously. Um, <laughs> Didn't that lose like $500 million last year or something? I don't know. Um, <laughs> so that's what I'm seeing through there. Onto the mining stocks. And once again, traders, on the mining sector, this is exactly what I was talking about. Exactly what I've been talking about, traders, this entire last few weeks. And that is be careful to be going long in the mining sector right now because this breakout here is probably going to be a fake out because the, tre because the weekly trend is down. Now we've got the fake out, we're probably gonna see a waterfall, a, a lot more stronger selling in the mining sector. Bit of a capitulation. Before we see one of the most incredible long-term moves in the in the mining sector. Hear what I just said, traders. I believe we're gonna see a water, waterfall. Game over, all over, right? We're gonna see, we're probably gonna see a break to the downside and we're gonna see a waterfall in the mining sector. We're probably going to see that. But hear me out. That is going to be a capitulation move for a slingshot that's going to see gold on its way to, you know, two and a half or 3,000. They're, they're actually small. They're, now, guys, timing is a big thing. In the, I don't know when that, that's going to happen, right? Like when they say, well, when talk about gold, right? Um, but the gold mining stocks, and anyway, just, just the mining stocks in general, big, massive reversal. Even the SI, look at this here. We've almost, almost back down to here. And I tell you, traders, I did videos on this day right here saying, guys, this is just probably going to be a fake out. We're still against the trend. And people are like, oh, John, you're an idiot. You have no idea what you're talking about, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, guys, I'm just I'm just reporting the reality of the situation. Um, you could ignore reality. You, may, you guys may be long right now and wanting it to go up. 
but you can ignore reality, but you can't ignore the consequences of ignoring the reality of the situation. And if you just go, like, don't hate me on this, just go back over time. It's like, okay, how did John predict that this was like, this is probably going to be a false breakout? Like, what was he looking at? Like, maybe I can learn something for my trading moving forward. And then the complete, the, then the thing, then the thing completely reversed. Um, and then same with the SI. Look at this here. We're back down these bottoms here. So I'm telling you right now, Trace, um, it's, it's still not looking good from there. Moving over to the gold, and gold is, gold is actually the, gold's like, what are you guys selling off for? Like, what are you guys doing here? So we could be getting ready for maybe even a strong breakout in gold. And yes, I do believe, guys, I do believe that gold is gold. We're go Before we see a very big crash in the markets, and this is another reason why I don't see the stock market being at a major top right now. Before I see a, a 20, 30%, maybe even a 40%, maybe even more crash in the markets, like a big bear market coming, I believe we are going to see gold rise with the overall stock market. We're going to go through a big, massive bull move. Gold is going to go along with it. And then, yes, everything is going to pull back. But in the pullback phase, gold won't pull back nearly as much as the stock market. Now, guys, this is probably looking at the next you know, one, two years, like that, that broad view. So that's just another reasons why, in every, even in 2008, this happened. Right, if we go back to 2008, you can see, uh, I can't go, let's actually go back to the, the GLD, right? Even in 2008, this happened. You can see here, look at this here. Where are you here? All right, so you can see, look what happened here. The market, gold went for a massive move up into 2008 then we had the collapse then we had the pullback and then look what happened then gold continued to go up from there so i believe we're going to see a a big move out of gold gold rising is going we're going we're probably going to see that and remember, remember do you remember traders do you remember the uh the video that i did yesterday if you if you do remember that i did a video yesterday talking about this pattern sideways big breakout it's just a sexy beast um that's all um, and look what we're getting right now. Oh, we're getting up. What, what are we getting, traders? What are we getting? Say it with me. Sexy beast. Right? So there we go, traders. That's what a bit of an update for you right now. Um, silver right now is, is, is a lot, lot, a lot more harder uh, because we are just really just going sideways on here. It means we're going to get a pretty big, pretty big breakout soon. Uh, but it's going to be really interesting to see how all this plays out. Silver, I'm not too quite sure because we're, we're still in that sideways range. Mining stock's not looking too good right now, but the overall big picture there, traders, like not tomorrow. Tomorrow I do see we're probably going to have a nice rise because we have we had a very big capitulation day, so we're probably going to see an update tomorrow. But um, I do see overall that this is not the top, guys. Don't listen to the bumblebees. Don't be going. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put on my put, put my I'm gonna buy my put options right now because I'm gonna capitalize on the next big crash and I'm gonna make a fortune. Mm, yeah, actually, you may be right. You know, you may be right, but. The probability of that is very, very small. Where interest rates haven't even started rising and, and in rate hikes, the market goes up to a certain point. Um, are generally, when the markets, uh, you know, when, the, when they start to raise interest rates, we're generally around 12 months from the top when they start to raise interest rates. Um, and what's, what's likely to happen is gold is likely to continue to rise. Gold is likely to go through a big breakout too before we see the, uh, before we see the big pullback. So, I hope that helped you out today, traders. Make sure you head on down to John's, J-O-H-N-S, freetraining.com, johnsfreetraining.com. On that, a whole complete, it's like a free training replay that, I, that I'm putting up for you guys. Um, the first thing you're gonna learn is what is the one thing that took me from $250,000 in debt to making a full-time income from trading? The very first thing. Secondly, what is, the, exactly the, what is exactly the setup to look for? The exact steps? and what to look for that's going to give you a massive probability of achieving a good income from trading. Then, 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 I'm, then, then I'm going to walk you through my scanning process, how I scan the markets to find these powerful trades. And then also, I'm going to share with you the setups that have the potential, especially when trading options, to give you a 500, even a thousand percent, maybe even more return. And now there's no guarantees of that happening, right guys, because there's you know nothing is certain. But I'm going to show you the setups 
that give you the probability of generating the explosive moves and explosive returns. I'm gonna share all that with you on that on that masterclass re replay. So just go to John's J O H N S free training.com or there should be a link in the description and I'll see you soon.